Hello, I am Iazalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create some nice security cam footage, especially with Halloween lying around. You can do some really cool stuff with this. So let's start creating and open up After Effects. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and you can see right here the security cam original footage. If you wish to follow the tutorial with the same footage, you can do so by downloading this file with the link in the description. If you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you just want to support our channel, you can buy the preset on our website, then you will be able to install it and just drag it onto your footage and have the final result immediately. And let's delete this for the people that want to follow this tutorial. I have recorded this footage with my Panasonic GH4 in Full HD resolution. If you have a GoPro or another camera with a wider angle lens, that would be better because most security cams have a wide overview. So right here, this isn't the ideal security cam uh, camera. But yeah, if you have a GoPro, let's use that. And for now, we will be using this. So click on the footage, go to Effect, Color Correction, and go for a tint effect so we can make it black and white. Then we will go again to effects and preset, add some grain, some noise and grain, add grain and add a final output here. We can increase the intensity to something like 4, so it can be very intense, maybe even 5, um, because most security cams have a lot of noise. Now we can also search for optics, and right here we have the optics compensation, let's drag this onto our effect as well, and change the field of view to something like 50 and then optical pixel invalidator or whatever it is. Um, yeah, just check it on and then also uh, zoom in just a little bit so you don't see, well actually we don't have to zoom in, we can use a transform tool so we can actually use this as a preset later on. So uh, let's zoom in right here for the scale. And there we go. And now we have our security cam footage already being pretty nice. Um, go to effects, go to transition and add a Venetian blinds here. We will change the direction to something like 90 degrees. Uh, well, not something, just 90 degrees, this is effect. <laughs> um, all right, and change the completion to something like 10 and the width 5. Okay, so now we can see these nice stripes here, uh, which are pretty cool. You can also play around a little bit to, to uh, find something that you like. Um, but yeah, like 10 and 5 seem to be okay. Um, we have this, all right. Now we are going to search for the effect circle. And circle is going to be at generate circle. Drag this onto our footage as well. And make the blending mode stencil alpha here. And now the center is going to be visible and the border is just going to be black. It will increase the radius to something like here and then open up the feather and just increase the feather like so. You can also increase the uh, radius just a little bit more and now you will have this uh, vignetting on this, the edges here. Maybe a little bit less a feather and just a bigger radius here. All right, this is looking good, okay. Then also what I've done is adding some contrast, so go to color correction curves and add some contrast here. Because these cameras mostly don't have a high dynamic range, uh, which the GH4 does have, and that way we can like uh, overexpose the uh, whites and underexpose, well actually just crop um, the blacks and whites. So if we add some contrast, it's going to look like uh, a real... Um, a real security cam. Also what I don't like is the color for the grain so I will go to color and just uh, check the saturation to zero or maybe a little bit uh, of color we can add a bit of uh, saturation here but uh, currently it was just too much so we have our grain actually uh, we will uh, take the saturation away because it's black and white footage so it wouldn't be logical to have a uh, colored noise so um, we will be using it like this and then another thing that I will be adding is go to effect, stylize and add some glow here. And the glow of course it's way too intense so I'm going to bring this down here. Um, but this is also going to add a little bit to the whites. Uh, we can also play a little bit less with the contrast and more with the glow. Duplicate that glow effect uh, by holding Ctrl and pressing D on the keyboard. And then you can also increase the radius for the second glow here. So we have a, a nice uh, fade effect here, nice blooming going on and increase uh, increase the threshold just a bit so it's only going to affect these whites here so if we toggle this on and off I do like the glow and security cam 
All right, so this is actually um, basically it. So one last thing we can do is um, maybe go to effects and presets. Well, actually, I'm, I'm not sure where it's located. So I'm going to search in effects and preset CC light sweep. And it's actually uh, at generate as well. Okay, so CC light sweep right here. We'll drag this onto our footage and then change it again to 90 degrees and also just uh, decrease the edge intensity to zero and increase the um, the width right here, something like so. And also the sweep intensity, we can change it to something like 10. Zoom out a little bit, click on this dot here and just hold shift and drag it up until you can't see it anymore. And go to the beginning of our timeline and click on the uh, stopwatch for center. Move one second, so we'll just move uh, 30 frames, hold shift, press page down and three times and then we will be moving uh, averagely one second and then we can just move this all the way down and let's see if we are going to play this back in a lower resolution so it's going to play a little bit faster we can see this line coming over uh, our footage right here so let's see if it's uh, fast enough all right I do like this and then what you can do is um, press U on the keyboard to reveal these keyframes copy these so select them both edit copy well actually edit copy or control C and then move to the last frame and then page down to move ahead one frame and then just paste it so copy paste it go to the last frame again move one frame paste it and now we can actually copy all of these go to the last frame move one frame forward and paste it and just do that until your complete uh, timeline is full of these uh, lights uh, sweeps here so now it's going to loop all over again so uh, if we're going to play this footage every second it's going to give one of these light sweeps that's pretty cool another thing that I have added to my footage and you can actually see that I stand it right here and then looked at the camera this is just being done with some cuts so I duplicated this footage uh, a search where I was uh, where I was uh, looking at the camera. Um, I didn't include this footage, uh, but if you want to do that, you will have to do it with your own footage. And then just uh, just cut it like so, and then put that somewhere uh, in between, and then just show the other footage, and it's like jump cutting a little bit. So one thing I have done is imported my glitch effects pack. And this is just a tip, you don't have to do this, um, but I use the glitch effects pack, uh, which you can also um, buy on our website, or you can just do it with some other glitch effects, um, but these are pretty cool. And then if I drag this onto my footage right here and just scale it down here, um, and change it to a toggle the switches first, change it to a blending mode of lighten, uh, and also change it to a black and white color, color correction, tint effect, all right. It's going to give that nice, um, yeah, glitch effect, uh, like it's actually doing something. And then search for another one, drag it in here, and also uh, add a tint effect here. And just make them appear for just like one frame. And then if you do this for a few of them, um, let's find another one. This has a lot of noise, so this is pretty cool. Uh, we can also enable this for one uh, frame. And then maybe one more and put it right here one frame again and then also what I can do is for example take the mask tool here also we have to scale them down so I'm going to scale the last three down until we can see them completely there we go and I have my scale tool uh, well my mask tool right here so we don't see it completely and also the third one uh, is going to need some tint as well so actually you can just copy this tint effect and paste it into all of these all right, so if we're going to play this back, you're going to see some uh, glitch effects, which is pretty cool. And you can also like duplicate these, put them on top here, and then just move them ahead in the timeline. And if we're going to play this back, we, we're going to get some nice glitches uh, in between our uh, footage here. So that's pretty cool. So let's preview it one more time. So yeah, that's actually how to get some security cam footage. If you wish to save this as a preset so you can use it later on, um, just check out my tutorial on how to save it as a preset. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much.